Hi, I'm with uh, Julian Rutland, who is the director of Canon Europe's projection business. And we thought we'd take the opportunity to talk about the strategy that Canon's pursuing in the projection market. Most people, Julian, know the brand because of the differentiated, differentiated technology, the Elcos technology, the mm -hmm. Z range, which I think is, has become well established now mm -hmm. uh, 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 as a model range. But in the last uh, six months or so, we've seen some diversification coming into the range. Could you explain to the viewers why uh, Canon has moved away from this core and is exploring other areas within projection? Mm, certainly. I think actually there's two things that's worth saying. I think one thing is our strategy on one level hasn't changed at all, and that's to deliver a product which really gives the very best in terms of image quality, and that of course means that it's a true Canon product. Um, but it's, it's fair to say that what we are doing is bringing um, the Zed quality um, and the, um, the value that, that that product brings into more into the mainstream uh, installation market. So the highlight really of, uh, of the ISE show for you was the launch of the new 5000. What, what is the, the particular differentiator about that product? Why would people mm. buy that for mm. a mainstream installation rather than some of the brands that we normally associate with that uh, segment? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, certainly both for the Wux 5000 and the Wux 4000, the, the key strength on both those products is uh, the fact that they both use LCOS technology and that makes um, Canon Z projectors different from any other um, projector playing in the professional uh, projector space. And also, of course, because they have Canon kind of lens technology in them, which mm. of course does deliver some unique benefits. So two of the benefits that that really delivers, firstly is on image quality, where because of the lens we, uh, technology we're using, um, there's almost no flare. You get uh, great focusing across the whole breadth of the image rather than say just at a certain percentage in the middle of the image. Um, and uh, so that's really good in terms of delivering on, on image quality. Um, in terms of brightness, one of the key um, factors in looking at installation products is when you add a different lens, uh, you know, one of the lens options that you would normally have, that can have a big impact on the brightness that any product delivers. Um, and one of the things that we've tried to do, and we think we've achieved with our new lenses, is to minimize that loss of brightness with any of the, the uh, lens options one might use. And that means that when we say that you know, the Wux 4000 is 4000 lumens, or the Wux 5000 is 5000 mm -hmm. lumens, for the end user who's you know, looking to put the product in their meeting room, they can be sure that they are genuinely, genuinely getting that level of brightness, rather than losing a lot of brightness when they put, say, a short throw lens on, for example. Mm -hmm. The 5000 uh, is the current range topper for yes. within the Canon portfolio. Where is that headed over the foreseeable future? Uh, what's the breadth of the range and yeah. uh, what's the bottom and what's the top? Yeah, I mean, we have two ranges of products, as you're probably aware. We have a, 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 the LD uh, series of products, which is based upon traditional LCD technology, and they add revenue to our, our business. Um, but in terms of gaining uh, real profit and, and uh, looking at our, our business for the future, then the installation market is really where we're focusing for the time being. And our focus for this year is really to become a serious alternative to the um, normal players uh, in the installation space. With uh, Canon's ambition to become a more of a mainstream player, to be associated with all the other leading projector brands, mm. we've seen some various point products going off to explore other niches, for example, the ultra short throw. Yeah. Um, is there a, a definition by market sector that, that you're targeting? Uh, I know you've been involved in medical, mm. we've seen some work um, uh, in entertainment, the, 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 the idea of the behind the booth at ISE was very much to demonstrate applications. Yes. So how is that, uh, it's, is it necessary to work with partners in order to explore those niches? Yeah, I mean our, our way of working, I mean although we're a very, very big company, you know, the Canon brand is huge, actually in the projector business we're still a able to work in a, in a small way, in a personal way if you like, or in a tailored way with, with partners and with system integrators. And that's one thing we wanted to really promote at the ISE show, for example, where everything we were showing on the stand was pretty much based on a real example of where we've sold product and where we've delivered uh, solutions mm -hmm. over the past year or two years. And the idea going forward is to expand that base of partners, both in terms of product development and in terms of your sales channel, from mm -hmm. uh, your existing fairly tight but, but nonetheless enthusiastic brand of uh, resellers and integrators. Yeah, I think that's completely fair. I would say we have two distinct projects 
running in terms of channel development for this year. The first is to add um, a certain, you know, to grow our number of resellers, the second tier base for sure, um, to be that um, known alternative to the regular players, established players in the marketplace. So we need to do that to just sell installation products into boardrooms and meeting rooms and the normal um, applications. But we also have a separate project that we've been running for a while uh, where we focus on specialist markets and see how we can integrate our products um, better with those particular areas. So we're very interested in talking you know, on a one-to-one -one basis with simulation companies, for example, with companies that are incorporating our products into total solutions, integrated solutions, and then we'll provide a, a, a dedicated level of support, whether it be um, uh, the ability to modify the lookup tables of the product, providing them with the the development kit so that they can change the, the, uh, the way the characteristics of the uh, projectors work, or whether it be linking them to um, Canon Inc. in terms of that development, or just providing information in terms of longer term information in terms of our roadmap so they know where our uh, product development is going. So for their future solution development, they can see where they can partner with Canon. So we have these two ways of working, a very um, top level with these specialist partners and a very normal level looking to develop our channel with. Uh, the system integrator with the reseller channel um, across Europe. You've now attended, is this your third S ISE? Seventh ISE. Seventh ISE? Yes. You must have noticed the conversations you're having are changing. Uh, yes, just over a bit. the <laughs> course of those seven. So mm -hmm. now the split between people who are completely familiar with, with Canon and the complete uh, newcomers must have, uh, have got to the point where your, your, your knowledgeable people are in the majority. Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, I can remember when we first set up at ISC, we set up a booth, I sat on the booth in the dealer area, and then, okay, who do we talk to here? It, it was really at that level, starting business out all those years ago. And now, you know, our standards tripled in size, we've got established partners, we're working with companies that deliver solutions, um, we've got recognised connections within the industry, and it feels like really we're growing almost a community of, of resellers uh, partners, distributors that, that are our friends in terms of doing business mm -hmm. and that's really great because one of the things that you know we're interested in as a company is not you know just developing a, a, a partnership for maybe a year or two years but developing you know long-term partnership with customers that you know will enable us to grow our business over the long term and will enable them to grow their business as well and that's been really a great thing to see over the last seven years. Mm -hmm. You had a, a partner event uh, 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 on, on during the show. What kind of issues were they raising with you? What, what were their what were their demands on Canon as a, as a manufacturer? Um, yeah, they want us to be. They want us to listen more, of course. Uh, they want us to be more reactive, to react quicker. And a lot of things we've been putting in place this year will enable us to do that. We have certainly strengthened the uh, our organisation, um, both at a local level and here centrally as well, to be able to provide a better support. Um, um, yeah, and the other thing they wanted was, you know, um, a wider range of Canon product in the market sooner. <laughs> and so that's really good to hear, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was a very, very positive message we heard from the customers. And mm -hmm. um, which, what benchmark do you apply to an event like IC to say whether it's a success or not? Uh, oh, that's, that's a really, really tough one. Um, to be honest with you, I'd love IC to be a show where we could just go in and say we've established these orders we've taken these orders at the show and therefore we can see the return on the investment. IC isn't, for us, is not that kind of show. IC for us is talking about establishing long-term partnerships with new, with new customers, with new friends, and also with um, growing um, established relationships, working how we can develop the business over the next year to 18 months. On the end, I can say we had some really interesting conversations with three or four key new partners and established partners that we think will take our business forward and just on those conversations alone I can say that I know I see will have been a success for us as we look forward into the future. Excellent, thanks so much indeed Jim. Thank you.